today and tomorrow. Yes. All right, leave us sought for that purpose. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Uh, Dr. Cam Calder. Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to rise and make a contribution to the Appropriations 2012 13 Estimates Bill. I'd like to um, just make a small comment. Uh, my colleague, uh, esteemed colleague, Marion Street, uh, was concerned about the, uh, the health um, budget. I have to say that I was hugely impressed with the uh, financial reviews that we looked at both the Canterbury West Coast um, District Health Boards and also uh, more recently the Waitamata and the Auckland District Health Boards and I heard some excellent work being done by those District Health Boards. In particular I want to commend the Waitamata um, District Health Boards who have actually turned around a very very difficult situation. They are now nationwide leaders in, in the uh, ED waiting times, cancer treatment waiting times, uh, anti-smoking initiatives, uh, elective surgery, immunisation and programmes to assess cardiovascular and diabetes um, risks. So Mr Speaker, there is a lot of good news in the health budget. There is a lot of good news in this budget. I am proud to be a member of the government that has presented this government. This is a strong budget. It's been called a simple budget. It is a strong budget. It is a disciplined budget. It is a prudent budget. This budget reassures all New Zealanders that this national-led government is a safe pair of hands. This government assures the international credit agencies that New Zealand is governed by a team that realises that ever-increasing debt is unsustainable. The financial markets are intolerant of poor fiscal policy and any hint of profligacy would lead to higher interest rates and increased debt servicing costs. And it's pertinent to note, Mr Speaker, that the, we on this side of the House have suffered a litany of opposition to any cuts that we've proposed in targeted cuts in government spending and retargeting in other areas where it could be more efficient use of the money and any scheme to grow our economy has equally been stridently opposed from the opposition. Miss, by the opposition. Mr Speaker, this is a responsible government that's investing in New Zealand's future. If we want to see an example of a lack of fiscal discipline, we only need to look at uh, Europe. Weeks after an election there, weeks after the first election led to uh, no result and questions about Greek, Greeks, uh, Greece's uh, commitment to the Eurozone fiscal compact, these questions remain unresolved. And the European Union, the European Central Bank, as well as the IMF, are holding their breath to see if common sense and rationality and a commitment to the Eurozone will be affirmed at the next round of elections in Greece. As David Cameron observed on the deepening Eurozone crisis, either Europe has a committed, stable, successful Eurozone with an effective firewall, will well capitalised and regulated banks, a system of fiscal burden sharing and supportive monetary policy across the Eurozone, or we are an uncharted territory which carries huge risks for everybody. Mr Speaker, this government's responsible budget means that we are on track to return to surplus by 2014-15 and thereby reduces our exposure to the capital markets and helps us um, be insulated from the ongoing European turmoil and global uncertainty. Now this is a budget which invests in New Zealand's future. This is a budget which is looking to New Zealand's future. We have in this budget $4.4 billion of new initiatives. Now these initiatives will stimulate jobs, deliver better services for families, invest heavily in science and innovation, and will make our economy more productive and competitive. We have said, we've nailed our colours to the mask, we want to derive 40% um, of our GDP from export markets, and this budget will help do that. It will also give New Zealanders the security they require in health, education, whilst also allowing them to live in a state of 
security. Now, the priorities of this budget are simple. Priorities of this government are simple. There are four of them. It's responsible management, the uh, government's finance, we talked about that a little bit already, building a more productive economy, delivering better public services and rebuilding Christchurch. We've made much, much of the fact that this budget and our prudent financial management means we are on track to return to surplus by 2014-15. And, you know, the, the, the budget um, surplus forecast is not a huge surplus, but it is a huge turnaround. It means that for the first time in a number of years, the government will be raising enough revenue to meet its commitments without having to increase debt. Now, I say that again because it seems to be something anathema to the opposition to meet its commitments without having to increase debt. And from that time on, we can get our existing stock of debt down and further reduce our exposure to the ongoing turmoil in the global financial system. And exposure, Mr Speaker, that when you hear some of the contributions from the opposition benches, you would believe had never occurred. Uh, the global financial crisis, what's that? <laughs> the uh, Eurozone problems, what are they? The earthquake in Christchurch, should I say the earthquakes in Christchurch, merely a small diversion if you believe some of the opposition contributions. Now, given the impact of the 2008 recession, which we accept and acknowledge, the ongoing global financial uncertainty, which we understand is a problem on this side of the House, and the Canterbury earthquakes, us getting back to a surplus by 2014-15 is an astounding result. Now, New Zealanders have appreciated our management of the economy in our first turn of government, and they can see and understand that our responsible fiscal management, in particular our discipline around spending and capital management, is essential to strengthen our country's resilience in these continuing times of uncertainty. As I mentioned before, Mr Speaker, this budget is crucial to maintaining New Zealand's international credibility for economic management. A status, Mr Speaker, that, like a reputation, is hard won and easily lost, as many countries, as many countries around the world can attest. We are a small country. Our economy is dwarfed by that of some large corporations. We are only a quarter of 1% of the world's economy. So financially, you can look at us like a small coracle bobbing up and down in the Caspian Sea. However, Mr Speaker, despite our small size, if we do it right and we do it well, such as the state of global financial... Sorry to interrupt the Honourable we... Member. The time has come for me to leave the chair. This debate is interrupted. I shall resume the chair at 7.30.